Hello, I Kiran Mudrati, Assistant Professor, uh, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Ballari Institute of Technology and Management, uh, Ballari. Welcome you to at another class of uh, system modeling and uh, simulation. In the previous uh, sections, we covered introduction to system modeling and uh, simulation in module one and uh, general principles of uh, giving models in uh, module 2 here we begin with uh, module 3 that is random number generation so let us understand objectives that is uh, purpose and overview of the random numbers first we need to understand definition of uh, random numbers and what are the uses of uh, random numbers and also we need to discuss some mathematical models to generate uh, random numbers so first let us move ahead with the uh, introduction to random numbers random numbers are a necessary basic ingredient in the simulation simulation is a one to test the system, we need to give as many as inputs, large inputs, and we need to test for the required outputs. To give manually a large inputs is a bottleneck. So, automatic generation of some numbers as an input is required. So, random numbers are important ingredient for the simulation most of the computer languages have uh, built-in functions subroutines to generate uh, random numbers let us take an example of uh, C program so R A N D is a function built-in subroutine or a function it generates automatically are random numbers when I run this particular code for a first time I got five random numbers three seven zero nine eight like this if I run it for a second time I got different numbers like this so these different sequence of numbers are called uh, random numbers simulation language also generate random numbers that are used for uh, giving input and testing for outputs now we need to understand properties of random numbers there are two important statistical properties the numbers should uniformly distributed so that is uniformity and one number is not related with another number that means the current value of a random variable has no relation with previous value look into this 7 is not at all related with 3 and 0 is not at all related with 7. For example, if you generate a random numbers like 10, 20, 30, 40, the next number can easily uh, known as 60. It should not be like that. Nobody should guess what is the next number. That is also one of the characteristic or a property of random numbers that is independence. Look into this uh, generation of pseudo random numbers so i'll take you to some real world examples i think you might have been played uh, dice as a ludo game dice when you thrown it will give one in one number when you throw it again it will give another number that kind of example i'll show you <coughs> for example there is a, a roll a dice is there i'll roll it if I roll it for one time, so it generates one number, that is 2. If I roll it again, it will generate another number, that is 4. So this kind of generation of numbers is done by some mathematical models. Those models we are going to discuss further. Similarly, I will take you a online a random number generator. There is a range. I will give minimum as uh, 1. I will take maximum as 100. If I hit on this generate, 
it will generate one number as 11. So if I hit again, it will generate another number like 68. So previous one was 11 and 68 is a second number. Similarly, if I hit generate again, I'll get 43. So these number are one value is not dependent on another value. That's why we used to call it is a uh, independence is a one of the characteristic. So while generating uh, these uh, numbers through the help of mathematical models, it should have some characteristics that model or a method should be very fast, it should generate numbers very quickly, very fastly. That function or a mathematical model should work on Mac operating system, Windows operating system and Linux operating system. That is our second consideration. It should be portable for different computers and it should sufficiently have a long cycle. And the, there is a chance of replicable, but one number should not be repeat another. And uh, these are uh, uniformity and independence are the uh, basic characteristics of uh, random numbers. So now let us move ahead with the next slides. The techniques for generating random numbers are uh, mathematical models or these are also called mathematical models. The first one is linear congruential method. Second one is combined linear congruential method. First we need to understand linear congruential method. So it is basically have two steps. First one is we need to generate some sequence of integers. After that with the help of sequence of integers we are going to generate random numbers. To generate sequence of integers we need to have this formula x i plus 1 is equals to a x i plus c into mod of m where a is one uh, multiplier it's also number c is a increment and m is a modulus so i'll take you example i'll take you to example at the time you come to understand how a c m and x naught are going to be used and finally R i is a ith random number is equals to x i divided by m. Using these two steps or the formulas, we are going to generate random numbers. This method is called linear congruential method. Let us take an example. x naught is called here seed. A is called multiplier. C is called uh, increment. M is called modulus. By using uh, these two formulas, xi and ri, we are going to calculate random numbers. x1 is equals to, a is given already, that is uh, 70, x0 is uh, c, that is 27, plus c, 43, mod of 100. When I multiply this, I will get uh, 502 mod of 100 is equals to 2. So 2 divided by 100 is equals to 0 0.02 is my first random number. Similarly, we are going to calculate x2 and uh, x3. The next method is called combined linear congruential method. It is a combination of uh, two or more uh, linear congruential generators. Using that, we are going to generate random numbers and it is more efficient compared to linear congruential method. So for this we need to use uh, the formulas xi is equals to summation of j equals to 1 to k minus 1 raised to j minus 1 x i j mod of m1 minus 1. And ri is equals to xi divided by m1 if xi is greater than 0, m1 minus 1 divided by m1 when x is equals to 0. p is maximum possible period. I'll take you to example at the time to come to understand what is a combined linear congruential generator. Let us take an example for 32-bit computer k is 2. 
that means we have two values m1 and uh, m2 these are the given values and a and a2 two linear congruential generators we are using a1 is what a multiplier and uh, m1 and m2 are multipliers we are using mod modulus so step one select the range from one to m1 minus one so we got first generator in this range similarly we are going to get second range and step two is individual generator using the formula we are uh, calculating x1 j plus 1 and x2 j plus 1 similarly we are following with the step 3 x of j plus 1 is equals to x what we calculated in step 1 and step 2 we are subtracting and modulus of m1 so we are comparing this value if this value is greater than 0 we are using this formula to calculate uh, our random number if x j plus 1 is equals to 0 we are using this formula to calculate random number and we will return that as our answer similarly uh, so this method is used for generating uh, different random numbers the generated random numbers are uh, acceptable or uh, rejectable that we need to understand in uh, next video lecture by using a frequency test and autocorrelation test thanks for watching keep watching